Hi, and welcome to another episode of Making Mondays. This time I have for you the Particle Respirator Style Mask. The filter lining makes it easy to insert a filter. The nose bar is removable. This mask is great to use on its own or with a filter. It can also help prolong the use of a Particle Respirator Style Mask. Ideally, you do not use the original overhead elastic with it. As you can see, the medical grade mask fits in snugly. Let's begin. The grain line is running in this direction. Fold the lining fabric in half lengthways, with the right side on the inside. Fold the fabric in half, matching with the right side on the inside, grain line going in the same direction. Place the folded edges together. Pin in place to prevent it from shifting. Place the fold on the pattern on the folded edge. The filter lining fabric is also folded with the right side on the inside and on the same grain. Place the pattern next to the fold. Once cut out, we can cut along the folded edge to separate into two pieces. Snip at the notches as shown. On the downloadable, I have placed two more notch marks at the side where the star sign is. This is to make it easy for you, so you relieve a gap for the ear loop elastic. Start sewing the filter lining edges. Fold over 5mm, then another 5mm to neaten the raw edges. Accuracy is not important here. Stitch in place. Remember to back stitch at the beginning and the end of your stitching. This should be second nature and I won't be reminding you. Make sure the other piece is folded in the opposite direction. So the remaining seams on both patterns. Cut out the corners to allow the pattern to turn nicely. At the very top of the fold, cut a tiny notch like this. It makes matching up a lot easier. Place the main fabric pattern with the notch facing up at the top.
match the bottom notch of the filter lining to the bottom notch of the main mass fabric. Make sure the wrong side is facing up. You can tell by the edge seam. Do the same to the other filter lining. Lining with the wrong side facing out, match up the top notch with the main fabric. Pin in place all around. As you can see it's not marked on my pattern, but it will be updated by the time you download it. On the downloadable, I have placed two more notch marks at the side where the star sign is. This is to make it easy for you, so you will leave a gap for the ear loop elastic. When you sew around, remember to leave three gaps. One gap is about two inches wide to allow you to turn the mask inside out and leave the other two gaps on the side where the notches are for the ear loops. Turn inside out between the main fabric and the filter lining fabric. Give it a press with an iron. Now we will attach the loops for the elastic, as well as dealing with the nose bar slot. Get the elastic and cut it into four pieces, about 2.5 centimeters, that's one inch long. Just make sure it's enough to catch in the seam allowance and enough to slide in the wide elastic, in case you want to use the overhead application. Seal the edges with flame to stop it from fraying. For the nose bar slot, make sure you use the side that is folded and not the chin seam at the bottom. Ignore the dotted line position on the mask. and ignore the seam on the centre front. Just place the pattern edge matching up with the mask edge. This dotted line should be about 1cm, that's 5 eighths of an inch, away from the edge. Mark with a pin. Pin through the other end as well. Pull apart. Pull the filter lining away. Pull 
You now have two positions marked to place your nose bar slot. Cut a strip of fabric using the remaining pattern. Folding in all four edges and iron. Using the pins, place the nose bar slot into position. If the nose bar slot is too long, snip a bit off. Sew around and leave one end open to slot in the nose bar. Remember to keep your needle in the down position before pivoting. Slot in the elastic and top stitch along the whole edge of the mask. So about 2 millimeters, that's 0 0.07 inches away from the edge. It is recommended to use three layers to make a mask. So you can use the mask on its own by making it three layers thick and no filter lining. Or two layers with a filter lining to allow the use of a filter making it three layers thick. Otherwise two layers with a filter lining and the use of an original medical grade respiratory style mask to help prolong the use. If your fabric is not medium weight or it's too thin, deforming at the mouth may happen. I would advise you to use a plastic mouthpiece like this or cut one out of a corner of a plastic milk bottle to use. You could always back the thin fabric with some medium weight interfacing. But please read manufacturer's safety information before use. It is different from brand to brand.
Remember to like, share, subscribe or follow for more from me at Shani Makes. Find me on Facebook, Instagram or visit my website at shanimex.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.